everyone, this is Tanner with Trained by Tex. Wanted to do a video for everybody today uh, using the Auto Max Assist Elite. I'm going to show everyone how to control it using a laptop. So if you have a technician that um, does not have time to go test drive a car, you can log into the tool uh, remotely through a laptop in the shop so that you can send someone else to go drive the car and he can watch the tool through the computer. Uh, also going to show everybody how to use the record functions in it, um, use the flagging function in it, how to play the data back, and how to use mode 6. We'll start out with the team viewer application so that everyone can see how to remote into it. As you can see on my screen here, this is team viewer. When you go to uh, control it, you're going to go through, scroll through the um, screen on the Max Assist, and I'll show you how to do that once we remote into it. And you're going to click on Remote Desk. When you click on Remote Desk, uh, it shows Team Viewer Quick Support, and it says Your ID. Your ID goes in this box right here. Once you put that in, you're going to hit Connect to Partner. Uh, at that point, on your uh, Max Assist, it's going to uh, box is going to come out come up that says allow remote support you're going to hit allow and now you can see it's going to come up on my screen here we'll click on max assist there right here is your remote desk that i was talking about so you would scroll over you'd click remote desk and then that's when it would pop up and you'll see that uh, spot that says my id and then that's again where you put that in Okay, from here, we're going to go right into uh, how to use this and how to use the data record function and things like that. I already have this hooked up to a vehicle. I have it hooked up to a 2005 Toyota Tundra. Um, the data record function works the same whether you're in OBD or um, a vehicle manufacturer, and it does not matter from one manufacturer to another. It's all going to be the same. So we'll start out, you can go into your diagnostics. Um, you can click into, um, get into the tool to get into the uh, data. And then you can, like I say, you can use OBD data, you can use manufacturer specific data, whatever you wanna do. You're gonna go through um, and select what you want by clicking these boxes. Um, you can scroll up and down through. You wanna only, select a page's worth. Um, the Maxisus seems to have problems recording more than a page worth of data, so only select a page worth um, at that point, then just hit show. I've What I've selected here is uh, the air fuel ratio sensors, calculated load, um, long and short term fuel trims, and mass airflow sensor just for this example. As you can see, I have about a page you, I could fit one more but that's it and I would not try to do more than that. Um, at that point to record the data you're going to click this button right here it looks like a video camera says record. We're going to click on that at this point it's recording. Uh, you can drive for however long you want to it will continue to record so that you don't have to watch the scanner while you're trying to drive. This button right here is for when you're driving and the vehicle acts up you can quick reach over and hit the flag button while you're driving and that will set a flag so when you're going back through the data um, it'll show you where that problem was and I'll go back through that in a little bit and show you guys how to uh, find these flags. Now your other option for saving data is right here you click on you know bring this little toolbar down you click the save floppy disk and hit save this page it'll come up we can type in and just quick, uh, just type in Toyota Tundra. And hit save. At that point, you're done there. So we'll go back out. Okay. Now, we're going to go right here to be able to get to your data and play it back we're going to go into data manager we're going to go to review data oh i forgot to 
Sorry, guys. I forgot a little spot right here. Forgot to hit. Done. Um, until you click that, it will not save. So now we'll go here. We'll go to Data Manager. Hit Review Data, and it's right here. This is the only uh, part of the Max Assist that I really don't care for. You have to scroll down through to find the stuff that you saved. Uh, as you can see, only the stuff that you had on that screen will be saved, so it's not hard to find it. It's just kind of a pain to have to scroll back down to uh, find that stuff as you're going. So just quick go down through here and select it all quick. And then you're going to click the show selected uh, tab right there, and that brings it back up. At this point, you have a couple different options to review that data. You can either click it by frame, like this, or if you want to go faster, you can grab it and drag. Um, let's see if we can find that flag that we set right there. So at this point, you can enter a description if you want to. Um, we're not going to for now, but at this point, this would tell you that this is where it acted up. So you had a problem right here uh, at 15 seconds. So now you can look at the data and say, okay, that's where my problem was. So that's how you play that back, and that's how you go about finding that. Now I'm going to show you how to get to just the screen that you saved. We'll go to images. When you click that floppy disk, it'll be right in there. And this was what you can see. You have your screen saved right here. Uh, and that's what you how to get to that. So now at this point, you can print this off if you want to through the Maxisys PC suite. You just click that button right there, and it'll uh, send it to the printer that your computer is hooked up to. Now we're going to go through, and I'm going to show everybody about uh, mode 6 in OBD. So we got to go here. Oh, we got to exit out of here quick. It'll come up and tell us that our uh, VCI is still plugged in. It's out in my truck outside. We'll go to OBD is where you're going to find mode 6 data. Uh, what mode 6 data is good for is when you're chasing a problem that you can't get to reset. So say you have a check engine light for a misfire code, um, but the car comes to you and it's no longer misfiring. So you're wondering what cylinders were misfiring. Um, was it one? Was it you know two? Was it an entire bank? Something like that. At this point, you're going to click on onboard monitor number six. So this is mode six data. As this loads, uh, <clears throat> basically this is good for intermittent problems. Um, you don't, you cannot clear the codes out before you check this. If you clear the codes before you check mode six data, the mode six data will be gone. So keep that in mind. This is when you bring the car and scan it, say it's not misfiring anymore. Don't clear the codes. Go and check mode six data. Um, I'll show you how to do it with misfire. Basically. These will be filled out. This is a mode six data is set when a check engine light code um, or mill is illum illuminated, um, and the cars, you know, said yes, it has a problem and flagged it. At this point, your values will be filled in here. This truck doesn't have a check engine light, so that's why there's nothing here. But I'm going to show you where to get into your misfire data. Okay, right here is your misfire data. As you can see, you have misfire cylinder one, misfire counts. Right here, one of these, whichever cylinders are misfiring will have numbers. The rest of them that are not misfiring will not have numbers. So at that point, you can tell which ones were your problem cylinders at the time of the event. Um, things like, say, you know, just a single cylinder misfire, you'll only have one cylinder that has um, 
you know, counting numbers there, the rest will be zero. Or you might have, you know, there's always a chance of having a companion cylinder that uh, creates a misfire on another. But what you'll notice in mode six data is that the cylinder that is causing the problem will always have the highest number of counts. So that makes it a little bit easier to narrow it down. Um, that's pretty much the gist of trying to find intermittent problems and how to use a scanner to help you find intermittent problems through using the record functions, the data playback functions in mode six. So hopefully this helps some people. You can do this with other scanners, not just the Maxisys. You can uh, use TeamViewer with any scan tool that has uh, wireless capabilities that you can download TeamViewer on. So anything that you can, you know, you can do it with a Varus Edge. Um, those are the, these are really the only two I've tried it on. You can do it with any laptop based scan tool um, because you can obviously have TeamViewer on the laptop. So mode six data, you can also get through other scan tools, but this is, you know, the Autel set up pretty good to just be able to go in and get all of that. So hopefully uh, you guys like this video. If you have anything, any other questions that you'd like to know um, or like to see with the Max Assist, how to do things on it, I'll just comment below this video and let us know, and I'll try to do my best to get some of those videos out there for you guys. So thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.